definitely like in the air game. So uh, I, I, I want to see how both players navigate around it. Like uh, now, Elyon making fantastic use of the ball, makes up just side to side, getting the uh, activation. But uh, Nezu, on the other hand, really utilizes the Rekka in interesting ways. We've seen a lot of uh, follow ups that I feel like I don't see many Hibiki players use. Uh, yeah. So really kind of eccentric with the decision making. Yeah, and we might see, um, there might be a lot of different ways that they could fight each other, right? We might see um, a more like carefully spaced gameplay, but you know, Elyon, because like as you mentioned, both characters are very fast on the ground, but maybe they'll opt to kind of just take it slow, kind of space each other out, right? So it'll be interesting to see like what which, which player does what here. Yes, absolutely. International competition here at CEO Taku has been a delight throughout multiple top eights, multiple games, but Nezu, the last fighting hope here for Japan up against one of America's best, one of America's strongest being, Elyon. This is going to be a good one. Let's see here. Alright, the Will of Fate is turning as it does. Loses quarterfinals. Hell's quarterfinals, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta use the correct terminology. <laughs> <laughs> Elyon starting off strong here, not getting the full confirmation. You see both players just kind of dancing around each other, trying to get a feel for what type of vibes they're rolling with here. So far, yeah, again, kind of very carefully spaced game out so far, right? Not really trying to overcommit on either guard here, but overhead block. Okay. Yeah, we see Nezu trying to uh, build up the layers of what exactly they may do in terms of actually opening up their opponents. Did not have much success with the uh, straight up high low uh, mind game against uh, Monarch. Right now, has Elyon under immense pressure. We see the dead angle come to try to even up Elyon. Pushing away. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that time it hit. Nezu is going to be able to cash it. It's in for all that it's worth. In this context, it'll be a kill as they take a dominant first round. Very solid play overall. I think that, like, um, I think that just, like, one thing you'll notice that like, Hibiki's numbers are actually, they're more, dis probably more disjointed than Jubei's, right? Just because he's, he's using swords, Jubei's using his foot sometimes. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's obviously being what it is. But in, in the true context of it, it's just that Jubei's a little faster, so his numbers are a little bit less disjointed. Okay, good use of the teleport there. All right. Ooh. Instant overhead. But it looked like it hit him standing. <laughs> he evaded first right away from Nezu. Wow, caught the shadow. That was a nice call out. Loving that counter here. Confirmation there from Elyon. Has Nezu locked down now. You can see they're trying to play some defense. Yeah, Ooh. you cannot escape this quarter for free, amigo. Here we go. Yeah, take the blue beat there. And it's a cross mm. up with the fireball. Yeah. Jubei does have a lot of mix-ups. With that meaty fireball, can also do an instant over. It's just a really nasty character that once you're on your back. Like, honestly, it doesn't do like a ton of damage. Like every instant over is just like a little bit of damage, but it's really frustrating to deal with it. And you may try to do something you're not supposed to. Right. Use good use of the shadow to go for a low. Yeah, I'm loving when they uh, reset back into the uh, full screen scenarios by whatever case it may be. Elyon uh, constantly going for that fireball to just kind of establish that, okay, I'm controlling this base. If you want to take to the skies, we can scrap up there if we want to. But just know <laughs> I'm going to have you have to actively decide what Ooh. you're going to do with this fireball when it comes for you. Yeah, good good uh, throw against the roll there. Nezu wasn't ready to tech it. Look at that. A little bit over 3k. Another blue beat. And, hey, Ooh. yo, what you doing over there? Oh, my gosh. Tries to jump. Gets counter hit. Uh, but, however, Nezu with a nice air to air. And he does have a burst, though, compared to Elyon, who does not. Okay, again with the dash. Meets the timing. Goes for install. Forces Nezu to burst again, but he's got to deal with this install Jubei now. Yeah. Scary. Okay, yeah. Able Good to air to air, but awkward and catches him with that, that rapid slash. Nice should kill. Yeah, I think like Nezu had gone for, he was going for like probably one of his strongest moves that are unsafe, but it just completely lost to Jubei's move, so just happened to come out faster. He's you know, intending to RC it, right? You want to, like, that's like your standard, oh, this move is unsafe, but it's really strong. But, you know, Jubei just had the better move there. Yeah, it happens, it happens. It feels like Elyon is well aware of that uh, interaction as well. That's been, that dive, a constant usage in terms of when they see uh, Nezu go into the air. And I feel like just in terms of overall air control, uh, Elyon has had it. Again, putting out that, that ball to kind of uh, imply or kind of uh, want for Nezu to take to the skies and just say, okay, if you do so, if you're going to try to skip this corner, if you're going to try to approach me from there, I have an answer for it. Yeah, exactly. And I think just as you mentioned before, like the dive slash from Jubei, has been able to catch Nezu's timing most of the time here, right? So Nezu, like, Hibiki will hang in the air to kind of do the shadow attack, but the dive has seemingly have caught both options there, so good choice there and timing from Elyon.
Again, once you've allowed Juba to get far away, you can take up that screen with that fireball. All right, counter hit out the skies. Business as usual here for Elyon. Oh my gosh, able to find one of those timely anti airs. Yeah, and cross thunder back in the corner too. Very good choice. Okay, Ooh. nice reset. I like it. A reset into air throw. Yeah, and if he does it right now, you have to be feeling under immense pressure, holding on to the burst for now. This Ooh, is where Elyon yeah. starts to cook. Instant oh. overhead again. Double instant overhead into install. Just yeah. relentless. As you mentioned, it only did a thousand damage the first time, but he did it again just to pressure. Now he's got install to do the extended combo. Reset. Gets hit by Nezu here. Nezu trying to make something happen. He's got meter and active flow. Air dash. Okay. Okay. Do a little bit of pressure here. See if we can get Elyon to crack dead angle, aka counter assault in this game. So if Taki can do a blocking, good mobility, uses the uses it again to kind of keep Nezu out. Alright, alright. Japan. Final hope here, Nezu trying to fight to stay alive, but Elyon putting up a huge Ooh. fight. Just one round away from being able to take the early burst. Yeah, early burst. I mean, obviously, early burst, you want to win this round so you can get another burst next round. But again, good whiff punished by Elyon. Unable to confirm their overhead. Not an overhead, sorry. More pressure from Nezu. Oh, more pressure again from Nezu. Just cannot crack Elyon. We've seen Ooh, Elyon's trade. defense be on another level when yeah. they're to get started, but now. Right in the install, catches the whiff punish. Oh my gosh, Elyon. Look at this damage. This is not where Nezu wants to be. They have not found success in this combo. cross up, but doesn't combo. Counter block, Ooh. but not punished. Close. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know what that, which side that was. I don't know what side that was either. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do you do? Elyon. Okay. Hello? All right, yeah, he accidentally did that slash into the corner. But yeah, still overwhelming advantage there. Forced to deal with the fireball, just gets tagged by it. Yeah, and I just saw there. Yeah, Jube is just really nasty in the corner, right? His mix-ups are so strong. Of course, they're actually unsafe. Like you can actually, if you block the overhead, you can punish him. But you know, it's just so fast. Like how are you gonna deal with it, right? It makes you really want to.